this is a electro smog meter walking along the road in a residential area it's just about it's been green for about half a mile it's just going into the yellow which is uh, minus 30 to minus 20 decibels and this is measuring uh, like microwave radio frequencies uh, anywhere from a, a gig or 100 megahertz up to uh, 10 gigahertz or 8 gigahertz on this area uh, without an aerial so um, I measured this the other day and it went up into the red and it's consistently in the red permanently which is minus 5 decibels and uh, 19 point uh, milliwatts per meter squared which is um, I'm not sure the standard uh, measurement that is so I'm going to walk and just watch the measurement and it, as I just give a pan out it's in a built up area so these homes are in a permanent now if it's in the yellow it's not recommended this is the uh, national average of uh, the nation's average of a safe the safety levels now every nation's got its own recommended limits great britain's got no sky uh, sky limit a limit to their um, how high they can turn it whereas switzerland it's very it's the lowest it's sort of like in the zero point something so it's very different so this is like a average so depending on where you live so and and the controversy of who which scientists you believe so uh, I'm just going to walk and measure. I noticed it gets into the, it, the other day it got into the red as we as I just get up about 100 yards up the road 100 meters up the road and then we're in the red so it'd be interesting if it's the same every day so this is only the second time I've taken a reading fairly average but uh, yeah the yellow, the yellow band is you not it doesn't you recommend it not to spend a long time if it's consistently in the yellow now green is safe to habitat you know apparently to cohabitate in the same smog but if it's yellow it's gonna it's been proven to cause problems and so you know this is in the, uh, right at the back of houses and I a big house in the state who are permanently in the yellow
that's much lower than it was two days ago so I'll keep a re recording of this but uh, just for the record uh, two days ago it was 19 points and that was in the red right up to the red uh, way past what I could measure so that's it This is uh, right next to a pylon. So, just up the road, the highest recording was uh, 19.500. Uh, I think it's microwatts or milliwatts per metre squared. Right, so I'm under a, right next to a pylon. I'm going to go right up to it. Oh, someone's watching, they turned it down. It just went way up to 38 points if I, I got a recording. Yeah, 38 points. Three eight point one. I can't read it for some reason. Yeah, it's very low here. Yeah, I think that's very strange because it when I first approached it was in the red. Now it's very low. So they either fluctuate. Well, they're manually operated. Anyway. Apollo Rise. Any uh, pagan significance? Uh, this, um, this whole estate is owned by uh, Arabs and there's a big memorial down the bottom uh, made of uh, concrete and it's got a big crescent you know like the Islamic crescent uh, now Apollo rise Apollyon or a Greek god isn't it now I've got I filmed what it says on those notices the people who um, the investors of all this uh, telecom communication stuff it's it's any time everywhere any time is their motto I think that's very arrogant if you look at all these companies, they're all oh, pyramids and uh, all yoked to that, uh, that you know that Masonic craft, that, uh, that how commerce works and, and how the world works. Anyway. Fluctuating reading, so um, I'll, I'll perhaps measure in the future. But uh, yesterday it was um, constantly in the, it, a few days ago. It's constantly in the red at the 19s. Today it's quite average, but still in the yellow and uh, unhealthy to say the least. To be exposed to permanently 24/7.